What is going on lads and welcome back to Pokemon FIFA. It has been a long time since I have made one of these and we just took a little break while I was having my exams and stuff like that. I still have got an exam left but we are going to be bringing this series back and we're going to be doing it in this city ah, as we did get our BPL one all the way up to inform and then we took on the Penthes in the gym battle which if you want to see there'll be a link on the screen or in the description to that if you want to go watch me playing the Penthes for the gym battle. Um, and we are now just going to crack on and start again with the Syria team. You've seen the Syria team that we got, again, in that last episode. So if you want to go and have a look, you will see it then. Or you will see it at the end of this episode. If we do manage to get an evolution, you'll see the player changing. But what, something that is going to be different about this series now is that we are going to be showing losses. Of course, we're not going to drag them out because nothing really too interesting happens. But just so you guys don't know if I'm going to be getting an evolution before or not, we are going to be showing us a couple of losses in and throughout the series. I have played quite a lot of the games and I have won the majority of them. But just so you know, you won't always be getting evol two evolutions every single episode. Or you won't always be getting an evolution per game. So that is something that's new. And I'm just going to quickly gloss over the rules. If you want to see them, you can go back and watch episode 1 of the BPL one and I'll explain them in detail. But basically what happens is we go through the Pokemon world which you can see up on the screen now. We're just in the computer at the Pokemon Center. And every time we have a battle on the Pokemon, we'll play a game of Ultimate Team. If we get a win in that game, we will like evolve one of our players. And that what that means is upgrading them from one level. So if they're a non-rare bronze, they can go to a rare bronze. If they're a rare a non-rare gold, they can go to a rare gold. If they're a rare silver, they can go to a non-rare gold, etc, etc. We're going to carry on doing that until we've got an all-team of the season City A team. So let's crack on and get ourselves going again. So, without spoiling the last episode, if you are new to my channel over the past month or so, since we did that match against Nepo, I didn't do too well and we didn't manage to get the gym badge. So, what we're going to do is make sure our new team, our new Syria team, is all fully up to fitness by healing them in the healing centre here. And then we're just going to crack over to the gym and we're going to take on the gym leader again. It won't be a YouTuber this time, it'll just be a random game online as we've now got a bronze team. So, we'll just be playing the games in the bronze tournament to get this team evolved up and win some matches, hopefully. So that's what we're doing now, we're just going to head over, we've already beat all of the minions that are in front of the gym, so we're just going to crack in, run straight up there and challenge them and get this, off, hopefully get this series off to a flyer with a nice solid win and get ourselves our first evolution. So you can see he's called Lieutenant Sage as we seen last time, he talks about his elect electric Pokemon and how they saved him during the war and all stuff like that. And we're just going to crack on and see what team he's got and hopefully it isn't too solid of a team as we do want to start things off to a flyer and get ourselves a nice win. But when you see his team, he has got a pretty sweaty um, English team. He's got a decent defence with Pierce at the back. He's got Achim Fenwa and is that West Car? He's got Taylor on the wing, so he's got a quality all-round team. And it is looking like it's going to be a pretty tough game. But we managed to get things going in the seventh minute, giving it off to Martinetti, who just smashes it near post OP and gets us a nice early lead in the eighth minute, putting us one nil up. So it's a cracking start, and we're only going to push on from there. When not 20 seconds later, we chip it over the top to Defendi, who is going to turn out to be one of my favourite players in this series. A nice low-driven shot, and in a 10th minute, we go 2-0 up. So it's a much different story from when we played Nep, and it, the abuse is just going to carry on, basically, again. Not two minutes later, this time cutting inside with Falcone, and once more, another absolute screamer into the near post. So Defendi and Falcone are my left and right wingers, and they are absolutely incredible players. Two of my favourite players in this team, and two of my favourite bronze players on the games now. Absolutely ridiculous, and we get a little bit lucky there, and then he just chops us down in the box and gives away an absolutely blatant penalty. He does manage to go and get himself sent off as well, so he's now down to 10 men, as you will see in a second, as the ref goes over, and whips out the red card for Cameron. So he's not only given us a penalty, but he's got himself sent off, and we are just going to tuck it away nicely with Falcone, giving him a second goal of the game. So it's a nice solid win just before half-time. We are going in 4-0 up. But there is going to be one more, just going to squeeze on in, in stoppage time. Falcone, once more, bagging himself that hat-trick and just finessing it nicely around the keeper into the bottom corner. So we're absolutely dominating this guy. And then just after half-time, as we kick off, he just pulls the wire out and he's had enough. That is the end of that game. We have absolutely killed him. We are getting an evolution and it is going to be Martinetti that is evolving. He is the striker and he did manage to score a goal in that game actually, however we are going for as much firepower as we can up front. So we are going to be evolving him into a nice rare bronze and we've got Testardi. Now this guy isn't the best, haven't used him, he scored quite a few goals but it's all about the wingers in this team. They score so many goals it is unreal and if you have got a bronze team I would recommend putting them in it. 
So lads, that is the end of the first episode of Pokemon FIFA in the City. I hope you have enjoyed it, and there is usually two games per episode, however, just because we had the explanation at the start, and also, my PVR has been playing up massively, and the software has just been having an absolute nightmare, and when I add files into Vegas, it just crashes Sony Vegas, so if you are buying a capture card, I would recommend getting an Elgato, so that is something else, to, that's a story for another day, really, so we're just going to finish off this video. I hope you do like the concept of Pokemon FIFA if you've never seen it before, and I would really appreciate if you dropped a like on this video, and hopefully we can get a absolute shed loads of likes for the series come back and get the word spread out there to some new people apart from that like i said i hope you have enjoyed this video if you are new make sure you hit that subscribe button as well thanks for watching lads and i will see you next time